Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This short video is to show you how to restore your radio settings and your model profiles to your Jumper T16. Well, it will work with any OpenTX radio. I'm going to be using my Tyrannus X Lite for this process. I'm going to delete the, all the models and profiles off of here and then restore them. Now the reason I'm doing that is if I use my Jumper T16, all the binding will be lost, so all the models that I have on there would have to be rebound. And some of the receivers on these models are in difficult places. So I'm just going to do it with the Tyrannus X Lite. Firstly, we need to plug the radio into the computer, which is exactly the same as you would do with your Jumper T16. And we're just going to go to mass storage. Okay. And we open OpenTX, I'm in the uh, correct radio, and we are going to read, read models and settings from the radio. Now, if you had a problem with your radio, you would more likely already have this backup, but let's just go through the process of backing up. So there are the three model profiles that are on my radio. We now click File, Save As. Uh, we're going to do a backup. I've already done one today, but let's just do another one. Um, two. And we've now backed up our radio. Okay, and for this demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do now is delete the um, radio, uh, model profiles off this radio. So. Let me do that. And for the purpose of this video, I've just removed the model profiles that I use when I'm using simulators. So, okay, we're going to escape from that. Now, we want to go back in now and restore those. So, we will plug our USB cable back in to our computer. Exactly the same as on the jumper as well. And plug into the computer. We now go to mass storage mode. Now on your computer to be able to restore those model profiles you first need to read the model settings from the radio. Then as you can see now there are two missing. The two um, profiles that I use for simulators are gone. Then we need to go and open that backup that I did. And there it is, number two. We're going to open that up. Now you can see there's a second screen with the, the models on. Now if we select those and we copy, we go over to the first window and we paste. Okay, I've put them in the wrong place. Let me just lift them up so they're in the right order. Okay, and it's now copied it, but that's no problem. We'll just delete that model. Yes, and delete that model. Yes. Okay, now we can close the backup. And then we say read, write, and write models and settings to the radio. I normally check the, tick the check firmware compatibility and then right. Okay, we can now close this window. I'm going to discard that. Okay, we can unplug the radio. Okay, if we go to the models, there they are. They're back on the radio. But as I said in my intro, the binding won't be there anymore. So if I want to operate my Beta 75X with this radio, I will have to rebind it. It's obviously nice to have a backup of your model profiles because all you do is you restore them to your radio and then you can go and rebind the receivers. Hi there, Bill from the future here. One thing I forgot to mention in my video is that just beware when you first fire up your quadcopter, treat it like it's a completely new model, just in case some of the settings haven't transferred over correctly. This is just a safety uh, precaution. 
I would even do it with the fixed wing planes, uh, thoroughly test them. I normally test fixed wings and make sure everything's working before each flight anyway, but I just suggest you do that. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, and please share my videos with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.